Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT and this is Curse of Strahd. Um, we've done quite a few videos over the past couple of weeks looking at different modules and stuff. I thought I'd get back into doing a bit more building. Uh, so we're at my landing page and I've made a little change because we're moving on to do the town of Velaki now, so like the, the main population centre. Um, and what I wanted to do was to add in a copy of the map of the town so that I could make that available to the players as and when and I thought I would put that in the landing page. So I've done all this off camera uh, just a little bit. I have created a new button on the left hand side for the Velaki map and I thought I'd make use of this central portrait here right in the middle just below Strahd's gorgeous face. So what happens when I click this button here? is it changes that portrait to show the map that the players can then click on and open. Now at the moment this is the map from the original module that I've slapped in here. It doesn't give anything away. I hate the fact it says area N. This is supposed to be the player's version. Like They don't need to see that. That just, you know, detracts from the thing, doesn't it? But never mind. It's not the worst thing. Uh, so that is the official map that I've got in here at the moment. And of course I've got that so I can reset it and get rid of it. So up until that point, that's just a blank frame, but might as well make use of it. I think that looks quite nice in there, and they can click on it if they want to. Lovely. All right, so what we need to do is move on to create a, a couple more scenes. Now, the next scene to do is essentially the East Gate. So I've already got my folder for Velaki. So I'm going to create my new scene. I'm going to call it East Gate. This is going to be where they very first arrive. Uh, nice and simple, and of course, if I activate it, we get nothing. Um, I need to configure and bring in my background. Um, now, I just wanted to check. Give me a second. Because somebody pointed out the fact that my computer keeps beeping in the background and it's annoying them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so just get rid of that. Stop that happening. Uh, and also, I've had some problems with my microphone recently. It's been playing up a bit. I have worked out what that is. For whatever reason, Discord, if I've got Discord open at the same time, it decides to put my mic volume up to maximum and therefore it's coming across a bit distorted. So hopefully the sound is much better in this one. Just the challenges, eh? <laughs> okay, let's uh, crack on. So I want to go, look, I've got into the valley, Barovia Village. What I don't have is I'm going to create myself a new folder in here. So this is all within my modules for the Curse of Strahd. So I'm still sticking it in there. Um, and... Uh, Let's um Do I need I don't need to. It's all going in a I'm just gonna call this for lackey for this folder. Sorry, having a moment. Having a brain fart. My I was thinking of something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do this. My poor brain can't cope. Uh, so I want Invalaki. I want to choose my file. Um, and I've already downloaded it. Again, Aeon Bar's maps we're using for this. Um, I'm either generating my own images or using their battle maps, uh, which is great. So I want this one here. And we can see that Optimizer is doing its thing in the background, which is great. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to select that file for this. Let's bring that in. Of course, I've not done any lighting or grid work at all at this point. Uh, so this map from Aeon Bar. So they're going to literally be coming in this way and through here. Now, there is another map for the top of the towers. I don't think I'm going to bother. I don't think I'm going to bother showing it. Um, I don't see it adds anything. Let's sort out the grid first though. I can always come back and change that if I wanted to. So let's, I like to make mine red because it shows up on screen much better for you guys. And we can see that this grid probably isn't quite appropriate. You know, that's a 20 foot wide gate. Is that realistic? I think 10 foot wide is probably enough. So essentially my grid working here is twice the size it needs to be. So I can easily just halve that which will effectively, wrong way, stupid boy, <laughs> double that, there we go, and look at that, beautifully lined up already with the gate there, so uh, the grid's all done, nice and simple, it doesn't need to be any bigger than that, when we look at things like buildings here, we've got a nice, the steps are exactly enough for one character to be on, which is good. 
So let's get rid of that grid. So I say get rid of the grid, I just make it completely transparent. So the grid is still there, you just can't see it. Um, and I need to wall this off, of course. So I'm gonna to go to my walls. Now, somebody did make the comment about the fact that I don't tend to use these other options. I don't tend to use things like invisible walls, um, the doors, secret doors, windows, uh, the terrain. Um, the terrain tool, wall tool at all. I tend to just use the normal walls and adjust them. It's just, just me. <laughs> just, it's just me. Do whatever you like. So I'm just going to wall um, this off. There we go. So we've got some basic walls in. Um, I, it's just, I don't know. I just find it much easier just to kind of do all of the walls and then come in and change stuff afterwards. It's just, just my preference. Um, so these are going to be, uh, they're going to be closed at the moment and we're going to make them big, heavy wooden doors. All right. Um, and there's a door there and there's a door there as well. So we can do both of these also change these to doors that are going to be closed and we can just make them creaky that's absolutely fine uh, and of course something else I do need to make sure I do on this scene now I've done grid is I need to do lighting token vision fog exploration uh, I definitely want global illumination and I don't need wall height so I'm going to tick that off don't need it for this one um, because the, the walls are tall enough to be a barrier. If they can fly, they're going to fly over them regardless of how high I put them. So I don't need that. Um, I will leave token vision on. Um, I don't need fog of war. I can take that off. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think, as it is. That's fine. So the characters are going to come in from this direction up the path. And they're going to encounter these bodies on these, um, these wolf heads on sticks. Uh, and they're going to encounter some people here. There's not an awful lot more to do on this. Uh, what I probably ought to do is wall off this just just in case they wander over there. Whoops. Yep, there we go. Classic. Um, and just off the back there, just on the off chance. I'm going to make this a door so it looks like a door, but it's obviously going to be locked because it's not actually somewhere they're going to be going into. Um, and if they do, I will cope with it at the time. <laughs> All right. Really simple scene that is pretty much done. OK, um, the question will be is things like do I want to put atmosphere, fog and stuff like that on? I think probably not at this point. I think that's absolutely fine as it is. But what I do want to do is to check out my next area I want to do, which is going to be this Blue Water Inn. So that's going to be our next scene that we do in the town itself. And that will be the last one we do for this video. But that's going to be a little bit more involved. So the Blue Water Inn. In theory, no pun intended, um, when they very first come to the town, it's the Blue Water Inn that they go to to spend their first night. I say in theory because they'll do whatever the hell they want to do, won't they? <laughs> and I might not get a say in that. So I want to bring in this ground floor. And I'm using the Aeon Bar maps without lighting. Because we can obviously put in the lighting in Foundry itself. Which reminds me, I did, there was a light in Eastgate that I didn't do that I should go back and do. Um, welcome to the chaos of me trying to do these things. So again, I'm going to make that grid nice and red so that we can see it the lighting um do i want globe i am going to have global illumination but i am going to make it a bit darker possibly let's see let's see all right so let's just save changes for that for the moment so here is our map and again the grid is exactly uh, half of what i wanted to be so i'm going to get this the right way round this time um, and for that grid going to make that 200 pixels per square there we go and again that matches up nicely with all of these doors and things so that's perfect so just popping back to the east gate just to be annoying um yeah look there are some lanterns now it doesn't mean they're going to be a light but we actually don't know what time 
the party are going to arrive, do we? So let's be prepared for that. So light radius is going to be dim to 20. We're going to say it's brighter to 10. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, light animation, we're going to put that on as a, we're going to put it on as torch, uh, but we're just going to slow that animation down a bit. So it's a slower flicker on that torch. Um, and I don't think we need anything else on there. Uh, do we want to change the color? Yes, I want to make it more orangey. Which gives kind of like a nice sort of warm glow without being, you know, completely ridiculous. Now just looking here, there's a lantern on that table. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to, holding shift be a bit more precise, I can put that down there as well. Anywhere else I've missed a light. Um, there's some spears and stuff in there. No, there's not. And I'm going to turn those off because it depends what time of day the party arrive. Nobody boils, nobody burns lamps during the day if they don't have to. Okay, so just try and keep that little bit of realism in there. Um, now, if I was using levels, there's some tree stumps here and there's some trees I can slap on over the top if I wanted to. But I'm really not worried about it for this map. Um, there's going to be a bit of role playing with some villagers outside or some refugees who are not permitted to enter the town. Um, but uh, there's no kind of action here. Uh, as always, it doesn't mean I won't come back and tweak it later because I do that. <laughs> you may have noticed. <laughs> so I change my mind or I have a better idea. Um, and that's all good practice. OK, so uh, this is a fairly uh, simple build. We need to uh, build this one out now. This one is not going to, this building here, it's at an angle, it's not going to snap to our grid. So I'm going to turn that grid snap off, zoom in for a bit more accuracy, and now I can place this pretty much how I want. There we go. The, the snapping does make it so much easier to get precision. Go on, that will do. I mean, you know, that's what the snapping's for. So that's fine. Let's make that actually make that a door. No worries. Easy peasy. Uh, and there's another outbuilding over here. Again, we can do similar thing. You can tell when I'm concentrating because I stopped talking. <laughs> Slap that one in there. Slap that one in there. And close that off and make that a door. Now off the top of my head, I can't remember what's in there. I mean, that's a firewood store. store stall firewood store um, and this one oh, it looks like a washroom or no bathroom but again we've got some lights here so let's not forget to do those at the end okay fun of walling so again I could of course I could use the door tool I could use all of those but um, I'm lazy I'm not sure if it's lazy it's just it's not even more efficient to do it this way it's just different <laughs> I just slap everything out in one go those are windows. Uh, now this is steps that lead to the upstairs. So I will... Hit, not there. Thank you. Along there, that door. Window, window, fireplace, window. There's a lot of windows in this place. Another door. Now, this is one of those where we get the half wall kind of thing. So um, I'll come back. Hello, thank you very much. I'll come back and do those in a moment with the snapping switched off. I know some of you seen me do, um, you know, walling lots and lots of times, but we, we've got... <laughs> Don't learn from me. <laughs> but we've got quite a few new members on the channel um, and we have got some people asking some... Um, of the more fundamental questions so I think it's only uh, it's only good to uh, to show those where we can now this is a slightly odd room um, there's a door into here okay that's fine so that should be walled off I think um, but this is some steps but there's no door so I'm wondering if that end is open I'll have to check that of course come back and fix it because I'm bound to have made the wrong assumption because that's the way I roll and I think we've got all the major walls in there uh, do I need to put a railing up the side 
Stop it. Control Z is my friend. You might put a wall up there. Okay, so let's find all those doors. Oh, no, let's not. Let's do these half wall things. So from there to there, that's fine. From there to there, that's fine. And then from there to there. That didn't quite do what I wanted it to. From there to there. Now, if I'm smart, what I can do, if you didn't know about doing this, you can. I can take that. I didn't want to do that. Stop it. I can take that. So I've got those walls selected and I can copy and paste those in badly, of course. So maybe I'm not that's not the best idea. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Don't do it that way. <laughs> Remember kids, I do this so you don't have to. Right, stop. Get back over there. There we go. And that one snap back in there as well. Now there are other tools and occasionally people mention them to me. There's um there's this monk's um better walls or, or can't remember what it's called there are other tools that help you do this if you want to but to be perfectly honest i, I find the base um tools sufficient um i don't really feel that i need to to use lots of other tools um i don't know why but i prefer to have as fewer mods as i can kind of get away with now that might be surprising considering you know how many mods we look at um but i just don't see the benefit of having massive loads of mods that potentially the more mods you've got the more likely you are to encounter problems with mods conflicts and stuff especially with all the updates that that come along um, and I've seen somebody kind of whinging recently about you know how quickly things get updated and you know oh, just as soon as you've got it kind of working you no know, they update something and it breaks just remember you do not have to install any of the updates you don't have to run any of them only run them when you know that they're going to actually add benefit to your game if they're not adding benefit don't bloody do it um, okay so these are windows light restriction none sight restriction for windows i'm going to set them all proximity 10 foot um, and i'm not worried about restricting sound that's fine uh, wall direction both yep yeah, that's all good so i've got my windows in there Yes, I know. There's at least one I've missed, isn't there? There's going to be curtains. I need to do curtains. There's no windows over there. These are all doors. That's a door. Windows. That's a door. That's a door. Yeah, you're already right. Somebody, at least one of you, is already writing in the comments going, you've missed one. <laughs> I know you are. And I've also realised that I've just made a big mistake because I need to do levels for this. Now, because I've put my walls in before doing the levels, sometimes it will make the, the walls will now be infinitely high rather than being per level, which is a mistake. Um, so first of all, let's sort out our, let's sort out our level. So that's from zero to 10, not to 100. Thank you very much. And this is first, floor which is 10 10 to 20 uh, just checking in the other window so we have the ground floor we have the first floor then we have the roof as well so I want to pop that in um, yeah they'd actually call it the roof rather than the attic just want to check okay and that's going to be from uh, 20 to 30 right really important I've got those in so we can stop editing those now um, so if I'm now on the ground floor and I go to walls we can see we've got all of our walls in but their height is to infinity and this is what I did that was wrong okay because I want them all to be 0 to 10 so that is the problem of doing the walls before you've put those in so again learn from my mistakes you, if you're using if you're using rippers levels put all of your put your base ground floor map in create your levels like i've just done on the right hand side then bring in the tiles for your levels and then work through each level in turn to make sure that you've got everything covered i've also noticed that that wasn't quite 
lined up there. And that's important to make sure these nodes actually link properly. Um, and we've seen before where they haven't. Um, and you end up with a bit of light flooding through in odd places that you don't want it. So just make sure that uh, those actually do link up nicely. All right, so if I go to the first floor then, you can see that door has disappeared because I changed that to be the correct height. So before I go and fix all of those walls, <sighs> what a pain. I have, you know I've never pretended to be a professional, right? <laughs> go to my tile browser. Uh, I want to make sure I'm in my correct Curse of Strahd module scenes folder. Um, and I want to choose my correct file, which is the Blue Water first floor with no lighting. And if I just zoom out, it makes it a bit easier. I can slap this over here and then move this into position. Now again, because it's going to snap to the grid, it's nice and easy to do so. So that is now the first floor. So I've got the ground floor, the first floor, and for the roof, I need to repeat that operation and find my uh, roof, this one here. Thank you very much. And again, just drag that on over there and then reposition so it's in the correct place. Now we know, because we've failed to do it previously, that what we ought to do is come in and lock that so it's not going to move. So back to the first floor. Yep, oh, I couldn't see the orange thing. Uh, lock that as well so it's not going to move. Okay, so there we go. We've got our ground floor, first floor, and our roof with the attic area exposed. There's two versions of the roof, one with that exposed, one with it's not. Uh, I'm just going to use the one with it exposed. So back to our walls then. If I go to the first floor, look at the walls we've got. Bum, huh? Right, so I've got a choice. I can select all of these walls, So, which is what I'm going to do. Let me show you, if I select all of these walls, which includes the door, and double click, I can actually just go, these are 0 to 10. I can do that from here, and that will update all of those walls, although it has turned my door back into a, uh, into a wall. So I can just come through and update that again, if I need to. So now, again, when I jump to first floor, I don't have those walls showing, because they have stopped correctly. So, yeah. I need to redo all of these, don't I? All of these, double click, they're from zero to 10. Update, thank you very much. I'm gonna do this one over here as well. Zero to 10. I mean, don't worry if you make mistakes. I make so many little mistakes and stuff. So what, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a little bit frustrating when I've just done all these doors and windows and I've got to do them all again because uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, that is frustrating. Um, but do you know what? It's not that big a deal, is it? You know, here we go. Let's uh, get all of these doors for the stables. These doors here. These doors here. All of the doors. This place is laden with doors, isn't it? That's already a door. Uh, that's a door. That's a door. I knew I was going to miss one. And then we could just change all those to doors, bosh, like that, which is good. And now we can just do the same for the windows. Window, 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 window. <laughs> okay, movement restriction, yes. Light restriction, none. Sight restriction, proximity, 10 feet. Sound restriction, I'm happy for that to be none. Wall direction, both. Yep, no problem. Bosh, okay, done. Now, the only thing I haven't done is these curtains, um, which, of course, I can just do like I've done, but I can also make these... Um, duh, 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 duh. What do I want them to be? Well, hang on, let's just draw, let's draw them in first. But I don't want snapping on because I want to draw them from there to there to there uh, to there, basically. Uh, I'm going to just move that end so it joins up there so we don't have some silly little gaps. Okay, so for these, shift to click and select these. These are curtains, so movement restriction. They don't actually restrict movement. Do they restrict light? Yes, they do. They do restrict sight? Yes, they do. Do they restrict sound? Uh, not really. 
um, and their curtains in both directions. So that's how we can just put curtains in. So they can still move through them. I mean, they're not going to get very far, are they? Because there's a big barrel. Um, but they can try and move through those curtains, of course. And if they rip those curtains down, you can just delete the wall. All right, so um, what have I missed? Because, again, somebody's writing in the chat. <laughs> Somebody is. I think I've got them all. <laughs> I think I have. Um, now, when it comes to things like furniture, uh, at the moment, the players can just walk straight over things like the bar. So it's up to you whether you bother with this, but this is where things like the invisible walls come in, um, and you can just put in an, a, basically an invisible wall there. Okay, and then if we look at the stats for those, doesn't uh, restricts movement, yes, doesn't restrict light, sight, sound, or anything like that at all. Um, so uh, if I have that snap to grid, where actually is the, is the grid on that? So the grid is actually on that side, which is fine. So that way they have to go round the bar. They can't just climb over it. Of course, if they want to climb over it, they say that that's what they're doing. That's absolutely fine. I think those invisible walls are also kind of useful for these uh, sides of the stairs here where you don't want them just leaping off the edge into nothing. Um, but it doesn't restrict sight and stuff like that. But they need to move around there. Uh, unless they're spe specifically saying that they're doing otherwise. All right, first floor then. Um, same again, need to do walls. We need to put all the walls in for here that are going to be different. Now note that this is a hollow here. So anything on the ground floor down here should be visible from here. And we've also got a stair that we need to sort out and we can do that using the levels. But let's get these walls in first. We've got snapping on still, which is great. That's what we want for this. So more windows. All the way over there, all the way down there. If we zoom out a bit, it's a bit easier to. I don't have to keep moving the map. All of the windows, hundreds of them. And then, of course, we've got to do all the rest of these interior. Um, I'll leave that for the moment door to a room the door to a room right where are you going there we go again uh, I go quiet when I'm concentrating <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there we go all right so um, now again this is actually below so we don't need to worry about that. They can't. Uh, this is the top of the stairs. These are the stairs that go down. So this is the top of the stairs, and up there is the bottom of the stairs. So have I missed any internal walls? Yes, of course I have. Uh, that is actually going to be a wall across there. What the heck was that? Um, with a window, and that there. So from the hayloft, there is going to be a window. So let's. Uh, Let's select those windows. Oh, look, that one's wrong. That should be one like that and then all the way across. So window there and a window there. Uh, window, 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 window. Just going to keep saying the word window. Oh, look, I've, oh, I've messed up there as well. Get back there. Snap on. Thank you very much. I'm going to use the excuse that the reason why I don't <laughs> it's going to be a rubbish excuse I'm not going to use that excuse at all you're just going to laugh at me I was going to what I was going to say was I, um, a good reason for not using all of these tools is it means I can go through and just check that I've you know I pick up my mistakes a bit easier um, I've missed an entire window there I pick up my mistakes a bit easier if I've then got to go through and what happened to all my windows? Oh, did I delete them all? Absolute plank. If I've got to go through and then pick out the. God damn it. Right, window, window. 
Do you know what? Any sensible YouTuber would delete this footage, start again, edit it in, so that uh, you thought I was a genius. But I'm not. I'm not remotely a genius, and I've never pretended to be. Um, and I'm sure you guys are very much well aware of that <laughs> if you've been around for a while. But it's, I think it's actually important to show where these things go slightly wrong. We all do it, you know, don't we? Please tell me we all do it. Uh, restrict light. Uh, restrict light to none. Restrict sight. Yes, I use my proximity 10 foot. Thank you very much. Restrict sound. Uh, just going to have that as limited. That's all good. So that's my windows in. What is this up here? Oh, that's the main door below. So um, we don't need that get out. So I do need to select these interior doors. And hopefully won't make anywhere near as big a mess of these as I did with the other bits. There's the other door there. And we can just change those to doors. Update job done now this is a balcony around here um, where they can look over etc so this is again this is where we can just go straight away and use those invisible walls just to slap those in uh, and again i'm going to put an invisible wall down the side of that stairway all right so that is uh, and down there as well just to make sure that makes sense Okay, are we happy? Yes. Now let's just double check, click on one of these walls, just check it has automatically put the wall height in, which is perfect. It has. Um, what the hell is going on over here? What is going on? Right. You are supposed to be a restrict movement. Yes, restrict light. None restrict sight proximity 10 restrict sound just limited because you are supposed to be a window and that one's supposed to be a window as well. So light none sight proximity 10 uh, and limited on that one as well. There we go. Um, invisible walls. Yes, I'm going to put invisible walls around here as well because uh, again, we don't want them leaping off of there without realizing it. Um, so they should be able to do that. Yeah, look, oh, look, look what I did. That's why all my windows disappeared. I accidentally moved them all. And again, somebody's probably already put the comment of what I did there. Um, but that's it, fixed it. Muppetry at its absolute best. He says that, and then he spots this. What's going on down here? Just accidentally stretched that one over. All right, I think we... <laughs> Christ on a bike. I think we're good. <laughs> Let's go to that roof. There's not much to do here. I'm not sure how wrong I can get this. This is going to be uh, pretty much just walled off like this. What is that? That's a little that's a little gapway, isn't it? I wonder what that's for. I will need to um, need to check on the map it might be that there's just a that's a, a just a loft space where something flying can escape all right so that's nice and easy that's all walled off simple i could barely get that one wrong could i so let's go back um, and check on the ground floor we're happy with all those walls for these outbuildings as well um what do i need to do i need to put in the stairs so um let's pick on so these outside stairs here okay those to the first floor they're going to appear here so let's take the we've got place drawings as stairs selected so we're going to go to drawings we're going to draw a square and i'm going to make sure that snaps the grid and i'm going to draw it there okay so straight away we come up ground floor if we hit that square it takes us to here nice and easy and we've got a very similar thing over here um, where i'm just going to draw in the stairs and it will pop us up here on the next map level which is perfect um, any more any more so right so these weird looking stairs here um, where do they go so they go up here to the all right so what we need to do is put in the stair marker there and I'm fairly sure we didn't close that off with a wall good so that's you go to those stairs there uh, and then that pops you up here and you can walk around. So we need to make sure that that's not a wall because that's the entryway in here. Uh, walls, yeah, that's just an overhead beam rather than anything else. Okay, anywhere else we've got a little issue like that. No, that's a door, no, that's fine. 
Um, that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, we're for the hayloft though. Again, we're going to have um, we're going to have some steps down here. So let's go back to our drawing, and we're just going to pop that in there. Now, the slight annoyance with bits like this is currently if they step on that, they're automatically going to go into hayloft, whether they like it or not. <laughs> um, so you can lock it so it doesn't work and then activate it when they want to do that however you want to do it um, i'm just going to leave it as is they can drag over it rather than stepping on it if they want to um, but uh, it might be nice to make sure that all of these are hidden yes they are so the players don't are not seeing level stair zero to ten which is you know i don't want to see that again it's just immersion isn't it so from the first floor, there we go, uh, and to the roof. So the roof, we've got this trapdoor here, which is here, and the trapdoor here, which is here. Uh, so again, that's obviously going to link to something in the map, so we could choose to put those in but i'm not going to at the moment i'm going to check exactly what the adventure says about that and again the cut the strad reloaded version is what i'll be using so that's uh, that's pretty much built um obviously i've got to populate it with npcs and stuff the last thing i want to do is do those lights so again make sure your levels are in first because not all the lights are relevant to every level what we got we've got a lantern down here so this is going to be used our base one 20 and 10 uh, I'm going to give it that orangey kind of glow ish and I'm aware that my orangey kind of glow sort of changes every time yes I could absolutely copy the um, the correct code from that and make sure that they're all the same but uh, I don't <laughs> for, for no other reason than I don't um, torch slow that down again just a bit so that we get a slower flicker from the the lamps as opposed to from actual open flame torches and I can copy that and look for any other place where there is one of those oh, I've got to get in the right place one of these little wall lantern things and there's probably going to be quite a few of them it's an inn But again, I will turn them all off because nobody burns all of this fuel unnecessarily 24 hours a day. They just don't. I'm sure you turn the lights off in your house when you, you know, you leave the rooms and stuff. You know, maybe not sort of religiously if you like. But you certainly don't leave them on all night when you go to bed, do you? That would be a huge waste. Uh, any other lamps in there? There's one outside. If I can get my fingers to work properly, we'll stick that one there. Um, this is a dark hallway. Got a couple of lamps outside here. None in here, that's fine. None in here. We've got no lamps outside the stable area. That's all fine. I think we've got them all. Again, somebody will point out in the comments the ones that I missed. So let's just turn all of those off. We can very quickly light the ones we want to when we get to the scene. Or if we know that they're going to arrive at night, put on a few of the ones that make sense. Uh, are there any over here in the wood store that wouldn't make sense? Or well, it's unlikely, but let's check. Um, and we've got that one over there we need to turn off. All right, so now we can do the first floor. Uh, any more lights here that we need to do? Uh, open flame in there would be a bad idea. Uh, there is a... One there. There's one on the table here. So upstairs, it doesn't look like there's any wall lights. There's only the individual lanterns. Oh no, there's a wall light there, right in the hallway. Turn me into a liar. Uh, these lights are all downstairs. There's one over here. 
and here there is one on the landing there just the one uh, that one's outside downstairs okay so one thing I just want to check if I turn some of these lights on here and then we go upstairs yeah we're not seeing them um, so let's let's check because oh that's because of the level I'm on I've closed the level thing all right so if I go to the configuration on here um, we go to lighting token vision fog exploration levels don't disable lights when enabled levels will not take control of light visibility this shot option should be disabled in scenes that make use of multiple levels turn that off okay save changes so now we're on the ground floor yeah that's not doing hope what i was hoping it would do which is a case of uh, you can see those from the previous floor. I mean, that, again, it's not a big deal because we can duplicate those lights here if we want to. I'm not going to bother. I'm fine. It's just a little detail that I don't care about. Um, remember, this is not video game perfection. It's, it's a, this is for role-playing purposes. So I can turn those off. Um, and the chances are the characters are either going to be upstairs in bed or they're going to be downstairs there. They're not going to be running all over the place at the same time. So I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, what else do we need to do? Apart from NPCs and stuff, what else do we need to do on this? We've got our roof level um, with no lights up here to worry about. We've got all of our walls in. We've got our first floor where we've got our lights ready to go. Except I missed one. Every, every room in theory has at least one light yep so that's ready to go um, we've got our ground floor with all of our lights here we've got all of our walls and windows done that room's ready that room is very very simple we've got our steps going up to various places good I'm gonna call this uh, map done <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily uh, completed of course because I do have to populate with NPCs put some pub kind of sounds um, in the background playing quietly just to give a little bit of atmosphere um, do I want to create regions for both of these maps I think I do want to create regions because just for if I put effects on I want to make sure that we're not going to have any um, silliness with regard to uh, weather so now everything I've done so far up until this moment here is all doable in Foundry 11. So if you're still on version 11, you're all good. It's not a problem. Um, I could add that one on there as well. Good. This regions part is part of the version 12. Okay, so this is the only bit that you can't do if you're still on version 11. Some of the tools might work slightly different, but I don't think there's any major changes to anything we've done between version 11 and version 12, except regions. Um, and what the hell do I want to do with this region? Behaviors, I want to... I'm going to adjust the darkness level because I always like to do that and just make it slightly darker indoors which to my mind makes sense uh, to point two uh, and I want to darken it by that amount thank you very much uh, and of course I want to suppress weather there we go good yes thank you I'm done with you um, so that should be slightly darker indoors we've got, got our doors there uh, and if I do put weather effects on just to show you because again not everybody uh, not everybody seen everything if I put on heavy rain you can see heavy rain but not indoors because that's what regions does and it's not raining inside this house well it's got the roof here so I probably didn't need to put that on a region they're not going to go in there are they silly boy silly boy um, don't do that select region thank you 
So if I go to configure and I go to shapes, that's the one I can get rid of. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So it's going to rain over the roofs, but it won't rain in the tower. Um, let me get rid of that rain. Don't want that on here. But that's all we're doing is just making sure that if we do apply weather, if it's, you know, we decide it's raining when they get here, we decide it's foggy, whatever we want to do, we can do that without it being an issue. Um, show you another way to create those regions, uh, an easier way. If I go to my walls tool, uh, I can select all of the walls and as long as I haven't got any gaps in it I can create regions based on those walls so let's add a region um, and I'm going to configure region I'm just going to call this interior and when I go to shapes see there's this icon on here that has the plus by walls so again let me just uh, select those walls uh, with the walls tool Yep, they're already selected and I can click this and I'm not controlling any walls. There we go, I've got them selected. Uh, and I can click that and it automatically will look at anything that's enclosed by walls and create those regions for me. So it's a really quick way of doing it when you're selecting basically what's inside a wall and what's not. So that makes it nice and simple for me to then go adjust my darkness level um, Point two and make it darker. No, not brighten it. Make it darker. Thank you. If I could click uh, and I can go straight to suppress weather. So it's a nice quick way of doing it, but you do have to make sure that you haven't got silly little gaps in your walls. Not only will that wreck your um, your site and things like that, but it will, um, yeah, it will not enable you to do that. So quickly, let's just go and check because it's always worth checking any of these things. Let's go stick that. Um, let's go stick a blizzard on. Blizzard, I said. Stick a blizzard on and we can see that we've got snow everywhere um, except within those walls. Now, you'll notice, of course, when we're looking at it from the roof, because I haven't got my tile my level selected, um, it was not snowing over the roof. But this is what we want, isn't it? You know, you've got a building here. It's not snowing indoors. Perfect. First floor. Again, it's not snowing indoors. Ooh, why is it snowing here? It's not snow. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Because... The heck? It's because this bit here, this is underground here. Okay, so that's fine. This is a nice little uh, example, actually, because what we can do now on first floor is we can create a new region uh, because that other region is only for that lower level. Um, so what we can do is create a new region here, which I'm going to call go, uh, first floor region. Uh, only on region layer, you see. So you can say, uh, sorry, that's visibility. That's being able to see them when you're on here. Um, ignore what I was about to say. So again, I can go back to the walls here for this level. Boop, select all of those add that in and it's going to include these rooms now that it didn't before and the behaviors I want again are adjust darkness and just bring that down a bit to darken them uh, and suppress weather and so you can see it's snowing right here that's going to stop immediately because of that update my regions so now when I'm on the ground floor it's not snowing indoors when I'm on the first floor it's not snowing and when I'm on the roof it's not snowing so uh, there we go sorted um, yeah and you can see the outline of these posts so it's not snowing under that because there's the building above it so that actually makes sense as well okay good I think we're done. I'm not sure, have no idea how long this video was. It was just doing a couple of scenes with me making mistakes as always. Remember, I do mistakes very deliberately on purpose uh, just to show you how to fix them. It's not me being... <laughs> not kidding any of you, am I? <laughs> not at all. Um, but there we go. So this is... We've now got our, our map of the town and we've got our first... 
uh, initial arrival at the east gate and then we've got the blue water in ready to populate with some npcs and stuff um, i need to check on those npcs and then generate some images that are going to be suitable for them uh, thank you for watching do appreciate it um yeah drop in the comments all the things that i've done wrong <laughs> <laughs> it's like our oh, bits I've missed, things I didn't do, um, I didn't do correctly, or whatever it is you may have spotted. It's all good. I'm not offended. Um, you know, I know I'm a muppet. <laughs> Don't need you to point it out, but by all means, do so. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.